How's it going? You looking for a map? Yeah, there must be some rules up here for the park. Do you know where those might be? Ooh, probably on the little brochure, no? Yes? Oh, well, the whole, there's a whole bulletin board of rules over there. Really? Uh, yeah, if you go up here, right across from the trash can on the left-hand side. He's a rule follower. Yeah. Is that what you're looking for? No? You. Oh, okay. Are you a coach? No. <laughs> no, not necessarily. Not really. Not really. That means like you might be. Well, I'm. I do teach people things, you but I. I wouldn't say that I'm a coach. What? I wouldn't say that I'm a coach. Okay. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Okay. Then you must be. Coaches, uh, I parent. High school basketball. No, no, no I, I'm not like a, a coach for a sports team, and I got it. I'm not all into sports that much. Well, you seem like you might be. You look like you're in shape, and you got your backpack. You got your. You can. Uh, I'm oh. a cam. You know what? Check it out. The rules. Well, I don't need them. I mean, what rule were you wor worried about? Uh, smoking. Ah. Pets. Do you have a dog that smokes? <laughs> dog that smokes. I don't think I do. No, I don't. That's funny. Well, you know what? The one I just put back didn't have that. What do you want to smoke? A cigar or a pipe or something? Weed, man. Seriously? No. I'm former Navy. Do you not smoke it because it's illegal? I smoke it because I... You do smoke it? No, I've never smoked oh, it. Oh, okay. Um, I can't get anybody to name the top five things, good things that come from drug use. Okay. Can you name me the top five? Well, if we called it legal drug use, can I... It doesn't matter. Reduce crime? It, 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 can you document that? Because I think it causes crime. Interesting. People that, they, 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 met, they don't have a job, they're doing drugs, and they need more money for drugs, they commit crimes to get the drugs. Steal from steel, like that. The hard stuff, I suppose, right? Well, a lot of people say, and I believe it, that the marijuana is the gateway. Not for everybody. Yeah. Um, I've got friends from high school that the minute they smoked marijuana, it was a match made in hell, ruined their lives. I know a couple other guys that smoked, turned out to be very successful, gave it up, they just kind of tried it. Oh, okay. So some people could smoke it and be fine, and some people... I think, I think so. And I don't know how do you tell them apart. Yeah. It was a guy's name was. You wouldn't wouldn't know him. Uh, from he's back. He's my age. Um, I don't know if he's still alive, but uh, he was going to be an entrepreneur. I had no idea what entrepreneur even was. I went to school from first grade to twelfth grade with this guy. Really had things going for him, and then met marijuana. And uh, last time I heard, about maybe ten years out of out of high school and college, he was still living at home. He was a painter. Okay. Just doing drugs. Hmm. So another guy by the name of met drugs and thought, man, wouldn't it be great if we get the whole world high all at once? Uh, smart guy, had a brother that was a teacher, um, had a everything going for him, met drugs, and ended up just doing nothing. You mentioned the other guy turned out to be a painter. House painter. Are you saying that that's not a noble thing to do? Not or? for that guy. Hmm. And for most people, no, it's not the, a noble thing to do. I think writing a book is a noble thing to do. Hmm. Uh, any, everybody knows how to paint, they think. So all That's you can do is you can smoke dope and paint and just kind of sail away. <laughs> no, he had potential. He knew words that I didn't know. Hmm. He was smarter than I was. But once he met marijuana, changed him, changed something. So you've had some run-ins with people, personal experiences with... Run-ins? Well, personal experiences with people who... Yes. Can I finish? You, I know what you, you're going to say. What? I've had run-ins, run-ins with people that had experience, best experience with dope. Right, but my, my, I was kind of leading towards a question. Go ahead. I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll let you get on the trail, but I, I'm done. I run it. So oh, you I'm did? Done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to check my time. 
it sounds like you're pretty steadfast in a position largely because of things that you've observed in your life with other people. I'm not autodactic if that's where you're going. Can you define that? Sure. Autodactic means self-taught. Some things you got to learn out of books. Okay. Personal experience, self-taught, yeah. some things gotta, you got to learn out of books. Hmm. So you can be autodactic, but you, you won't be as educated as a person that's observant, autodactic, and learn things out of a book. Are you open to revising your position on legalizing marijuana? Not at all. I just asked you to name me the top five things that came from marijuana use and you couldn't name any. I, I started with one, but then we kind of got off topic. But I guess my point is, you know, hold on. I wouldn't agree with that. If somebody were to give you five reasons that were sufficient, would you change your mind? I've looked at that for a long time and more wasn't than quite just the, today, wasn't quite the question. and there's just nothing, I'm answering that question, uh, there's nothing there so far that could answer that in, with a positive. Does it help a few isolated people that helps them with some nausea after, say, cancer, chemotherapy? Yeah. Yeah. Does it help somebody ease the pain? But Yeah, but those are, those are the fringes, They're not okay. mainstream. So if I understand right, you haven't heard of any five reasons to convince you but my question is... I've asked it. No, I haven't. And I've asked that many, many times when somebody looks like they're leaning to legalizing marijuana use. One question and then sure. I'll, I'll... Sure. No, I'll, I'm good. I don't want to take your time. No, it's all right. I'll try this one more time. If somebody had five reasons that were sufficient to you... Yeah. ...to justify legalizing marijuana, would you change your position on it? I'm going to answer you with another another part. It's not, I'm almost not going to say yes or no. They can't come up with five. If they could. Can you name me five different ways that we can put a rocket ship on Mars? No. Are you saying What's that... What's the sense in asking me that? Because I don't think you can come up with five. No one can. What's your point in asking me that? I'll, I'll try it one more time. What is your point in asking me that? I'm trying to see if you are open to changing I'm, your mind. I'm open quite a bit. I'm on the right. You're not on the right. On the right of the political spectrum? Yes. Are even you, if you vote or not, even if you've even heard of... Are you, and, hold on a second. Are you, are you saying that people on the right are less willing to change their minds? Yes. In the face of evidence? Yes. They don't want to hear the evidence. Here's what happens. Here's what they do in personal experience in reading when you try to give them the evidence. Here's what they did. Who, the right? The left. Here's what they do. I'm doing it right now. They walk away. There is no position on the left that's defensible. It's all indefensible. We were actually... You've never heard that before? You wrote that down and put it in front of right? like you've never heard the left before. No, I've heard of the different spectrums. We were talking about the right's position. I told are, are you, you why I wasn't going to answer it because I'm on the right and I believe that you to be on the left. And that's why you're trying to get me to answer a question that it's just like answering a question like, can you name me five different ways to put a rocket ship on Mars? You can't do it. No one yet, out of all the years that I've asked that, there's not been anyone giving me one single, yes I can, I can name you three. I'd, I'd be happy with two. They can't name any. If you could have, you yes. would have rattled five off. I'm not well versed in the topic. If there were That's fair. Okay, thank you. If there were experts that were versed in the topic of marijuana and the safety issues and crime and all that, and they gave you five sufficient reasons... Okay, you're, okay we're, I'm not going to answer that because there just aren't any, and, and your experts would probably be on the left and they can't come up with them. If they did, they would be bogus. They would not be the, it would not be the truth. There's just no way I'm going to answer that because it's a mute question. Thank you for your What's time. your point in asking me? I thought I mentioned it. Ask um, it again. I'm, I'm a little dense. If Can I ask your age? 46. Okay. If a per Have huh? a good walk. Okay. Is that your backpack? Yes. Okay. Yes. Have a good walk. Okay. Thanks. I hope you guys were able to watch that.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What the fuck? Wow, that escalated quickly. Holy shit. I am willing to bet that he's going to come back. Because people like that just can't leave topics. Oh, he's going. Hello. What was baffling there for me was when he admitted that he wouldn't be open to changing his mind and there just wouldn't be five reasons worthy of changing his mind. And then he... What I thought he was doing was mimicking the rights position by walking away with his fingers in his ears. But in his mind, that was the left's position. What a knucklehead. Wow. Holy mackerel. And I wonder why five is the magic number. If there were four good reasons to legalize marijuana, that just wouldn't be good enough. But five, yeah, five's okay. The point there, and I was trying to get to it, but he was being so hostile. I wanted to, uh, wanted to take a few seconds just to calm him down and calm myself down. What I was going to ask him was, if you're establishing a criteria to change your mind, five reasons, but you'd never accept the five reasons, are you not being an ideologue? Are you being so tied to a belief that you're unwilling to change your mind? And That is that mentality, folks. Holy cow. I'm really glad you were able to at least hear that. I had my GoPro going, but it wasn't pointing up at him. What an asshole. What I found with people like that, though, is you've got to slow it down. You can't, you just can't get worked up into it. And when I took a few seconds before answering him, what did he do? What did he do? I don't know if you can see it. He extended his hand to shake my hand, and he was done with me. That guy was not interested in a discussion. He was interested in a debate. He is the antithesis of why I am out here, and he's also my motivation. That is the mentality that could potentially doom our species from this planet. And I don't care if you're on the left or on the right. If you're so entrenched in a position that you won't open yourself up to contradictory evidence, you're dangerous. You're dangerous. And that goes for atheists, that goes for Muslims, that goes for Christians, that goes for people on the left and people on the right. Wow.